I saw at a bodega all these sort of very overly ripe cherries on sale and I bought a pale ale recipe but I just on a whim bought all these cherries and brought them home and as I boiled the beer I squished all the cherries into this beer. I was pretty you know rebellious uh, growing up and to take this recipe and kind of say I'm not going to follow that recipe I'm going to go on my own uh, creative journey and the fact that it actually turned out good the beer. And I stood up on my coffee table and said, this is what I'm gonna do in my life. I'm gonna open a small brewery. You know, while definitely thinking about durability whenever I'm buying something that I wear for work, um, you know, also price is a factor, but you know, also for me trying to find the companies that I believe in. It's so easy to get up in the morning and I just have two shelves, one of, of t-shirts and one of dark pants. Uh, you know, usually Dickies are on that shelf and I can just usually pack my bag or dress for that day from just the two shelves that are in my thing and not worry if I have the right thing for what I'm doing today. So to be able to buy, you know, a pair of pants for 25 bucks that you knew was going to last even if you got caustic on it or wart or beer was a no-brainer to just buy those kinds of pants and then you kind of spray them off and by seven o'clock at night they dry out and you can go out and do a beer dinner at a pretty nice restaurant put on a, a collared shirt and uh, you know wear them out at night so when we open it you know with this idea of being the first brewery focused on culinary ingredients instead of traditional beer ingredients that was not cool in, in the mid 90s and we really struggled to to find an audience for what we did but we never wavered from what we wanted to be as a company the impact or, or what I think makes dogfish special has as much to do with you know the uniqueness of our culture and our people as it do, does to do with our, our our products the stuff that we make um, when it comes to what we make collectively as, as, as a group of co-workers we kind of filter everything through this triumvirate it, everything we make we, we expect it needs to be quality, consistency, and being well differentiated. Consumers in general are just moving to a place where they're making their decisions, whether it's for coffee, you know, beer, clothes, chocolate, whatever it is, where part of it's like the quality, the consistency, the durability of what they're buying, but it's also a vote to keep their money uh, going to the companies that they believe reflect what's, what's good out there. My days at work, still my favorite days, are the days when I'm getting dirty and making a batch of beer from a recipe that's never been brewed commercially before. We're doing it because we're following our passion to, to make good things the right way, you know, things that are well made. My name's Sam, present founder of Dogfish Head Brewery, and I'm a brewer. <laughs>